Welcome everyone, I'm Claire Paul. Joining me today is Gloria calderon Kellett. Gloria is a 20-year veteran of the entertainment industry. She's a first-generation Cuban-American, originally from Portland, Oregon, and decided at an early age that she wanted to change the narrative around the Latino community in Hollywood. She is a producer and showrunner for the much-loved reboot of One Day at a Time, and has worked on such shows as How I Met Your Mother, Rules of Engagement, Devious Maids, and iZombie. She is currently developing TV series and films for Amazon Studios through her company, Glow Nation, including the Amazon original series, With Love, coming to Prime Video December 17th, which we'll talk about more today. CNN calls her one of the leading voices calling for improved Latino representation in Hollywood. Welcome, Gloria. Thank you so much, Claire. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, you've said before that you are dedicated to shaping the stories that are being told on screen and to improving the understanding of Latinos. What does improved understanding look like to you and why do you think it's important? Well, I think it's important because uh, I've seen it so heavily reflected in my life. So when I came to Hollywood, uh, I really wanted to be an actor. I thought that was the way to be a storyteller. And all of the auditions were for gangbangers' girlfriends and gangbangers' sisters, maybe a prostitute if I was lucky. Uh, and I was so frustrated. I was like, there's not like a teacher or like a lawyer or no, nothing. This is it. Okay, Joey, put the gun down. I mean, it was crazy. Um, and uh, that was a literal line. I say that Chewie put the gun down because that was an actual line from something. Um, and I, I was so gobsmacked and I thought, oh, this is how we're seen. This is how we're portrayed. And uh, there is a there's an activist, Fabian Rodriguez, who I love to talk about. She does a talk about how it takes 10 years uh, for American audiences to wrap their brain around something in order for there to be positive representation and policy shift. And she talks about the LGBTQ community, Ellen and Will and Grace, and their coming out stories, and then how that led to marriage equality. And I was really moved by her talk. And after that, I thought about my parents' own journey here to the United States. And they came in 1962. So I thought, okay, what was happening in 1952? Because my parents arrived here and were given a path to citizenship, were able to thrive. 1952, the number one show in America was I Love Lucy. A Cuban American was in your homes and was lovable and was married to this hilarious redhead. And I thought, oh my gosh, I very well could be sitting here because Ricky Ricardo was on TV. I have the power to do that for this next generation. Because right now, uh, we are 20% of the country, 5% of what we see on TV, 3% of what we see in film, and 40% of those roles, we still play criminals. So I know that I need to be a part of the change so that I can show the totality of who we are. Yeah, that's so, so important. And also, you know, what does it mean to you as a woman in Hollywood to represent how women are portrayed on screen? Oh my gosh, well, it's such a joy because we are so layered. We have so many incredible stories. We have, uh, you know, there's such a fullness to, to, being, uh, to being a woman. And I think that really in the last 10 years, we've started to see a shift. You know, when I was growing up, it was still really the men were the leads of the shows and the wife were, you know, the wives were like uh, on the side. And now that more women are in charge, now that we have Tina Fey's, now that we have Ava DuVernay's, now that we have Shonda Rhimes, uh, we're starting to see this incredible influx of complicated, amazing, funny, uh, layered, smart women. And I think it's made the world better. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I truly agree. Um, that's also important, you know, to advertisers and brands that want to connect with viewers who watch this Absolutely. Yeah, we spend money. We like spending yeah. money. <laughs> <laughs> too. And they want to make sure that they're connecting with the audience in a real way, you know, which can be harder to do when the content that the ads are attached to feels inauthentic. Um, you know, you've said that you've been able to incorporate your own Latino American woman experience into many of your projects. How have audiences received that? And have you had any feedback on the representation you've been able to help grow? Oh, they're just so grateful. They're so thankful. They're like, oh my gosh, finally, it's not just maids. 
It's not just, you know, like finally, and look, that exists and that's beautiful and that's been well covered. We Gangbangers, some are Latino, that's been well covered. But the totality of who we are as a fifth of this country has not. And so to be able to put forth people that are thriving, people that are doing well, people that are working hard, people that are educated, people that uh, have more comfort in life, it really does make people feel seen in a way that, that is life-changing. Yeah, absolutely. So let's talk about With Love. We are excited for this new romantic comedy airing on Prime Video, of which you're both showrunner and executive producer. Tell us about your involvement in the project and what we can expect. Oh my gosh. Well, it's just, a, it's a warm, fun uh, show about a brother and sister, Lily and Jorge Diaz, who are young and gorgeous and are looking for love. And they happen to be Latino. But in that, we get to see them during the course of the holidays. Every episode is a different holiday. So we start on Christmas Eve and we go through the, the Diaz siblings year as they fall in love and have issues and, and have all those great rom-com things that we don't usually get to see Latinos go through because uh, we're usually the side character. So they get to be the main character in this in this love story and it's, it's warm and it's funny and uh, I'm really proud of it. I can't wait for you guys to see it. That looks like a must-see. And what are you most excited for us to see? Oh gosh, for me, it's really the family element. You know, to see how uh, entrenched the family, the many generations are. You know, we're not just showing young people falling in love. We're showing co a couple in their 50s, a couple in their 70s, because uh, there's sexy times for everybody on this show. And the complexities of that, not to mention all of the wonderful Latino traditions that are just sort of, there's a sousan in every, there's like a little bit of our traditions in every episode. And that's really a fun thing to be able to share because they're, they're really fun. <laughs> Sounds like it. I can't wait to see. So that's all the time we have. It has been such a pleasure speaking with you, Gloria. Same, Claire. And thank you to all those in the 3% Conference audience for joining us for this important discussion. Gloria calderon Kellett's new Amazon original series, With Love, premieres December 17th on Prime Video. So be sure to check that out.